there were reports that were surfacing that your administration is planning to pay illegal immigrants who are separated from their families at the border. Do you think that that might incentivize more people to come over illegally? If you guys keep sending that garbage out, yeah, but it's not true. The Biden administration is singing a new tune after the president trashed reports that the Justice Department was considering settling about 100 civil lawsuits with $450,000 payouts to migrant families. If it saves taxpayer dollars and puts uh, the disastrous history of the previous administration's use of zero tolerance and family separation behind us. So will the Biden administration make a deal with families affected by Trump's zero tolerance policy? Let's get this straight. The ACLU, which is negotiating on behalf of the families, swiftly condemned Biden's remarks. If he follows through on what he said, the president is abandoning a core campaign promise to do justice for the thousands of separated families. There's still 300 out of the 5,500 families that were separated that have not been reunited. Andres Mayer is an immigration attorney and isn't shocked that migrant families filed a civil lawsuit. So there's only two things that they're really looking for here. One is to be reunited in case they're not. And secondly, to be able to live in the United States. And beyond that, it's compensation for the harm done to the children and the parents emotional or physical. Either way, Republicans say paying migrants sends the wrong message. First you break the law, you get amnesty with Democrats. Now they're gonna pay you for breaking the law. This incomprehensibly uh, stupid idea of passing out up to a half a million dollars to people whose first act in this country uh, was a violation of our law makes no sense at all. Mayher doesn't believe a settlement will have any impact on ongoing migration issues. To think that if there's a settlement, whatever that settlement is, will increase or reduce immigration, I think is respectfully absurd. While the Biden administration works to settle a civil lawsuit filed against the past administration's immigration troubles, it also has its own challenges, such as re-implementing Trump's Remain in Mexico policy and creating a humane process for Haitian migrants seeking asylum. I'm pissed. I'm unhappy. And I'm not just unhappy with the cowboys who were running down Haitians and using their reins to whip them. I'm unhappy with the administration. Should the government provide migrants payments for being separated after illegally crossing the border? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to rate this story using our bias meter.